South Carolina Representative Nancy Mace. She just recently lost some support from Donald Trump, the new deity of the Republican Party. And um, she wants to make sure that all of her constituents, maybe some of the potential voters that she's looking at this next primary that she's facing, that they know despite his disdain for her, she still loves him. Watch. Hey everyone, Congresswoman Nancy Mace here. I, I'm in front of Trump Tower today. And um, I remember in 2015 when President Trump announced his run. I was one of his earliest supporters. I actually worked for the campaign in 2016. I worked in seven different states across the country to help get him elected. I supported him again in 2020 because of policies I believed in. He brought American jobs back. He lowered our taxes, wages, and employment were better for every hardworking American in our country. He made America safer and he took on China directly. And America was stronger all around the world. And, and quite frankly, freedom and democracy was stronger all around the world. And these are things I still believe in today, policies that I believe in and continue to. As a strong fiscal conservative, I believe in putting America first. I believe in putting our country back on the path to prosperity. But Nancy Pelosi would love nothing more than to win this seat back. If you want to lose this seat once again in midterm election cycle to Democrats, then my opponent is more than qualified to do just that. I'm here in front of Trump Tower and he just called me an a-hole. I love him anyway. So that uh, you guys know, as I mentioned, is Nancy Mace. Uh, she's facing Katie Arrington, who is the person that she referenced uh, that if you would like to lose the seat, go ahead and vote for her. Uh, Donald Trump thinks so as well. So he just endorsed her a day before Mace went and did that in front of Trump Tower. So on Wednesday, he endorsed her, Katie Arrington, and she's challenging her for the Charleston based first congressional district. So she was standing in Manhattan, Mace recorded this video and described herself as one of Trump's earliest supporters as you heard her. And someone who traveled to seven states to campaign for him and was a strong proponent of all of his policies. That sounds like someone you think he would continue to keep around, maybe endorse one more time. But she kind of made this fatal mistake of telling the truth this one time. Mm. Let's watch. Now you've been direct in calling out President Trump's role in inciting his supporters last week. And so my question to you is, should there be accountability and consequences for those actions? If so, what? Yeah, absolutely, there should be accountability for those actions from the president on down. And it wasn't just the president that uh, that enabled this violence to happen that incited it. I mean, there were, if you watch the speeches or read the transcripts from the speeches that day, if you look at the rhetoric after the November election leading up to it, especially ratcheting up in the last seven to 10 days, I mean, someone threatened to shoot me on social media uh, over my desire to, my, my, my intention to vote, to certify what should have been a ceremonial vote to certify certify the electoral college. We've got to hold not just the president accountable, but all of the participants that, particip that participated in this charade. Did you guys notice when she was telling the truth there about January 6th and, and her uh, and fellow colleagues and Donald Trump specifically, she was a lot more smoother. She had things that she was saying that she meant. In that first video in front of Trump Tower, she stumbled a little bit. She's trying to figure out ways to make sure she still pleases him because that's unnatural. Um, by the way, it's not the only time she told the truth. Because she didn't realize telling the truth would get her in the doghouse. Here she is again. I will tell you, for me as a new member, it was enormously disappointing. I literally had to walk through a crime scene where that young woman was shot and killed to get into the chamber to vote uh, that night to certify what was supposed to be a ceremonial uh, vote to certify the Electoral College. And yet my colleagues continued to object. And they knew this was a failing motion. These objections were not going to work and they were unconstitutional. Um, and so it is enormously disappointing. It's one of the reasons I've been such a strong voice to point out the lies that have happened. Congress had no business overturning the Electoral College and neither did the Vice President. We have reconciliation that needs to happen within our own party. We need to rebuild the Republican Party. Way too much honesty in that answer there too. And that was the whole Republican Party. Anybody who backs with Trump needs to go ahead and fix our party because this is a disaster. Now Ricky, before I let you jump in here, after all that loyalty she broke down, 2015 ran the seven states, I did all this for him. This is part of Trump's statement. It is an endorsement for Katie Arrington. <laughs> Katie Arrington is running against an absolute terrible candidate, Congressman Nancy Mace. <laughs> Remarks and attitude have been devastating for her community 
and not at all representative of the Republican Party, to which she has been very disloyal, <laughs> he said in that statement. So Katie Arrington, on the other hand, is liked and respected and a true Republican. Now, I want you guys to think about that. Anytime he says someone is disloyal or they're doing things bad for the country, it means disloyal to me and doing things bad to me. He thinks he's the country. He thinks loyalty only lies with him, Rick. So I know it feels like forever ago, but if we could go back to the first video, Mm -hmm. This literally feels like in a 1990s rom com when the person just got broken up with and they're outside of that person's home, throwing rocks at the window, saying, Please take me back. <laughs> Please take me back. All I want, I'm going to go over my credentials and my track record. I know I'm losing everything, Donald. Please take me back. It's a pathetic way of going about it, but it's also modern day Republicanism. Like, can you imagine if someone were to go outside of like Nancy Pelosi's house and being like, I'm so sorry, Nancy. I'm so sorry. I said those terrible things about you having a $1 million refrigerator. Like, no, we can't possibly see that. Well, no, yeah, well, that's that's not what usually is demanded upon. So this is an illustration. I think as far as this goes, she's looking to still pilfer his supporters. Definitely. Even though she knows that he's through with her. He's done. This was, by the way, you guys, Nancy Mace just won in 2020. Mm -hmm. This is just now in the first two years, he just endorsed her. So the only thing that could have possibly changed, because we know it's not policy, is that he that she said they should have certified the election and the Republican Party needs to get their act together. Right. That's what she said. Right. And also remember in that election that she had, she barely won that seat. She right. won by just over a point. So like this is the this is the interesting thing for like leftists is like, well, clearly we despise her, but she did the bare minimum of saying, well, J6 was bad and the president should be held accountable. Like she's had a horrendous record of like attacking Dr. Anthony Fauci. And blaming Dems for like CRT, even though her entire base can't name literally a thing from it. Like it's, it's, it's she called AOC and company like the Hamas squad. Like there's so many terrible things that she's done. And yet doing the absolute bare minimum for at least us is like, well, at least she acknowledged it, right? Like I, that's where I am, and I'm sure a lot of other people are, is. Like, do you want Nancy Mace to like go up against a, a Democrat, or do you want the worst possible outcome because it's a district that they barely won? If you take a look at some of uh, Katie Arrington's ads, you'll see that she's slightly crazier. That's just the whole point. The of crazier course. it is, and the more Trumpium it is, the better it is for Donald. That's just the way he is.